Hey folks, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to use photo editing apps that are not the native iOS photo editing apps. Some that give a little bit more depth to editing in a, a picture. So the ones that I've picked today, now there's a million different apps on the App Store that cover photo editing. There's a couple that I'm going to be using that don't require a, a login or an account to start with. So anyone from you know, young grades to older grades can use this in the classroom. So basically let's start with Snapseed. Snapseed is a Google product. Tap anywhere to edit the uh, photo, open a photo. And open from device. Here we've got moments. So in here I can choose just about any picture I'd like. Let's choose, uh, here's one I've shot on my daughter last year, almost the same time of year that I uh, shot this in. And when I go to edit in Snapseed, down in the lower right, you can see it's uh, it's pulsing there. If I click on that, or tap on it rather, I get a bunch of different photo editing tools. Now, I can't possibly cover everything and be brief in a tutorial like this, so what I'm going to do is basically cover a couple of them and then move on and then let you do some self-exploration and uh, if you download them yourself. So there's also filters that you can add to this. I'm not a huge filter fan and never have been. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say that. Back in the day, I used to use them a lot, but a lot of the photo editing that I do now is very clean. And so let's take a look at some of the tools. We're going to look at the basic tools for editing. So I'm in the uh, Tune Image app, or uh, section of the app. And down in the lower middle of the screen, I'm going to click on Adjust. And here I've got Brightness, Contrast, Saturation, Ambience, Highlights, Shadows, and Warmth. Sometimes the best way to take a look at what you want to do and how the effect basically affects the image I'm going to simply use my finger on the screen to scroll up and let's choose brightness. So let's say I want to brighten this. I'm going to go from right, I'm sorry, left to right. And I'm going to scroll with my finger to make the image brighter. Now that's overkill in this case. Let's say I want to leave it there. And let's bring up ambience. Ambience is kind of like, oh, I'm sorry, shadows. Let's go into shadows. We're going to increase the shadow detail. Once again, a little bit too much. You can also decrease the shadow detail by making the shadows darker, which gives a little more punch. And you're like, what's the difference between this and contrast? Well, contrast separates the highlights from the shadows a little bit more. And so if I punch that up there, there we go. If I want to take a look at the before and after in the upper right corner, there's the before, there's the after. And, you know, personally, I'm not going to uh, make any adjustments. This is kind of like the final image that I had already. And let's see. Other things you can do to adjust. A lot of times when you're taking pictures uh, with an iPad, the color balance might be off, so you can add some warmth to this, or you can cool it off a little bit as far as color temperature goes. And so there's one. Highlights, if you have a lot of highlights that are just really like, whoa, too bright, you can bring those down and it will sp uh, specifically adjust just the highlights. So, And when you're done, you can hit the lower right corner you can tap on the checkbox there to accept the changes. And then if you want to undo something, you can undo, view your edits. And when I'm, let's say I'm done with this image, I can save this, save a copy, or I can export the uh, a copy with permanent changes to it. If I hit save, I do have the option to go back and re-edit or uh, undo some of the edits that I had done before. So just keep that in mind. For students, this is a very powerful tool. And to show you some of the other editing options, let's, uh, for a little bit of fun, we'll, we'll click on 
let's see, drama. So there's all sorts of different presets. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of adjustments, but you can adjust filter strength, saturation, and make it totally black and white. And so that definitely adds some drama to it and how appropriate for this young lady. So this is my daughter. And let's take a look at, let's, uh, let's take a look at a different app. I'm not going to get any more into that, but I, I highly suggest, you know, give that a try. The other app out there doesn't require a, a, an account is an Adobe product. Now there's a ton of different Adobe products and let's go back out. There's a Adobe Photoshop fix. There's Adobe draw. Adobe uh, Comp, uh, Composition, Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop Mix, and Photoshop Express. Now, Photoshop Express also does not require an account to sign in. You can sign in if you wish. However, if you don't, you just don't have access to all of the tools that uh, it has to offer, So, which is fine. If you go in, let's choose a picture. Here's one I shot of my daughter last Easter. And let's click on corrections. Let's say I want to click on the light. And with this, let's adjust the shadows here a little bit. I'm going to bring up the shadows. Bring up the exposure. And bump up the contrast just a little bit. There we go. Let's bring those shadows back down. We did too much. There we go. And when I'm all said and done, I can close. Now, if there's blemishes, I can pinch to zoom, which many people are familiar with that feature. And she really doesn't. She's got perfect skin, but I'm going to click on the blemish removal tool. And if I tap, let's say, on this little mole, it zaps it right out. And it's done. So can't get rid of those cute freckles, though. So with that, let's close this. Uh, we're not going to save any edits. I'm going to get out of this app, and we'll check out Lightroom. Lightroom does a lot of the similar things, so I don't know why Adobe has like a ton of different apps that do the same thing. But hey, you know what? They're Adobe. They do what they want. Let's choose this picture of my son. This is when my son was six months old. This was three and a half years ago, so getting crazy how much he's grown. Now with Lightroom, I'm going to the edit module. The thing I like about Lightroom is that I can rate my images. And so if I decide to, oops, might have to, not sure exactly where I do that, but I should be able to edit and rate my image. I think if I Scroll, let's go back out. Not quite sure on that one. I'm going to skip the uh, rating part, but you can rate your images like in a you know, 1 to 5 scale, which is kind of cool. And with, uh, with a lot of the options that you had to edit in Photoshop Express, here I've got many more. And so let's go into exposure just to raise up the exposure it gives me a nice histogram in here three finger ooh nice uh nice helpful tip there it's a little more contrast and then one thing I want to add a little bit more to in this is temperature I want to cool this off a little bit more to make those whites look white, thus called white balance or temperature. So white balance in here has a selector to where if I tap on anything that should be white or a gray card, that it will balance that out. A lot of times what I do is you 
can use the selector right on the eye, right in the uh, whites of the eye. When you select that, it should try to make that white. So, don't know if I like that as much. Let's do as shot. Go back into temperature, slide it back here, cool it off a little bit. Maybe not too much, just a little bit, and go from there. So, back in the edit module, let's, uh, oops. Take a look at saturation. You can bump up the saturation and vibrance. Kind of one and the same, not quite, but both add a lot of punch to the color. Clarity adds a lot of detail. Almost makes it look gritty um, if you use too much of it. So I don't use a lot of clarity when I'm editing. And then your whites and shadows, blacks. The big thing is to play around this, uh, play around with this and test this out. It's uh, one of those apps to where you can edit a lot of cool pictures and uh, make otherwise, you know, take normal snapshots and make them a lot punchier, a lot better, especially with mobile photography. So this is a fun app for kids to play around with a lot. Uh, it has a pretty low learning curve. And once they figure out what each item does, doesn't take them long to start, you know, editing like a pro. So thanks for watching on this. Uh, hopefully you gained something out of this and have a great rest of the day.